This historic, yes, it was historic snowstorm and ice storm. A whole lot of trouble it created, including our roads, our power grid, water systems, and some of our rooftops. Yeah, as local businesses and homes face a new setback, ice damming. KTK's Frank Jefferson is here to give us some insight about how we can deal with this winter weather hazard. Frank. Mm -hmm. Neil Casey. Now, ice dam is a large buildup of snow on top of our roofs, and because of the heating in the building, the warmth can cause leaks, which can lead to very severe damage. Now, the biggest problem is how much snow we've gotten in such a short amount of time, and having one layer on top of the other is causing a lot of stress to our structures. And our roofs here in East Texas, they're not equipped to withstand this amount of snow like some places up north. Now, the ice damming comes from the heat, like I said before, inside the buildings escaping, and mostly due to improper insulation, and the melted ice and snow get caught in the gutters and some of these Texans, they're doing what they can to combat the cold weather and protect their homes. Uh, I was busting it off with a hammer and then that broke. <laughs> and so I grabbed um, just my water sprinkler like key and have been knocking off those pieces of ice so that whenever it does melt, it doesn't all build up there. Right now, the biggest call is about the ice stands. They don't realize that's what it is necessarily, but it is causing major havocs on rev residences. Local roofers, they're saying the majority of the calls are because of these ice dam issues, and they're recommending insured homeowners to check their policies that they cover roof damage, and if not, it could take a toll on your roof and your wallet. Now, mostly Texas roofing companies, they say they're going to try to get out to neighborhoods and businesses sometime today, but they're saying because of the road conditions, most likely they're going to be out on Monday. In studio, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.